The ongoing Corey Lewandowski CNN debacle is frustrating on a number of different levels. I've been tweeting about it since it was announced that Corey Lewandowski, one of the former highest up campaign managers for Donald Trump, was going to be joining CNN as a paid correspondent. It's so disgusting, it turns my stomach. And now that he's actually on there, uh, I mean, look, he'd been on there before, but now he's actually getting paid to be on there. It continues to be disgusting, and it's amazing to me that this has been allowed, that CNN would sign on to this, that this would, in effect, not even be that rare. We see this so often, that these disgusting individuals get jobs doing what they would do otherwise, and that's the part that I want to focus on in this. So, look, I had video uh, of him on CNN, and uh, he's talking about Donald Trump, and he's talking about the speech that he gave, uh, and he's, they're talking about the, the TP, TPP debacle and all of that. I'm not going to show it, okay? I was going to. I planned to when I started this video, but honestly, I don't want Corey Lewandowski on TV. I don't want anyone watching it. I don't even want myself to watch it for the time it'll take to edit it and put it in this video. But what he's effectively doing for a very long section of this uh, part of CNN is he is saying literally the exact same things that he said about Donald Trump when he was working for his campaign officially. And now he's working for CNN officially, and he's saying the same thing. And I am trying to understand in what bizarro reality I live in where it doesn't matter if you're being paid by the candidate or by the media outlet talking about the candidate and you say the same things. It's a great deal for Corey Lewandowski because he gets to paid and he doesn't have to hang out with Donald Trump anymore. And I don't care if you're a supporter, you don't want to be around that man. It's a terrible deal in the long run for CNN because I find it hard to believe that anybody is going to tune in based on Corey Lewandowski who wasn't already going to watch uh, what remains of CNN. And for the people, why would you sign on to this? I mean, look, they are literally paying a guy to tell you what Donald Trump wants you to hear about him. And he would have done that for free. Corey Lewandowski doesn't need to be paid that. Now, you look, you could argue that theoretically maybe Fox News was considering offering him a job or MSNBC was. And so if CNN wanted to have him, the fact that there would be a bidding war over this guy boggles my mind. But that if that was the case, then they need to pay. Okay, I understand that argument, I suppose. But no one should have been paying him. This guy desperately wants to be in the public eye. This guy doesn't need to be paid to show up on your programs. Donald Trump doesn't need to be paid to show up on your programs they are so eager to do it anyway and the the idea that cnn would throw money at this disgusting barbarian why what are you getting out of this he basically says that everything that trump is saying about the economy is going perfectly it was the best speech he's ever given now i want you to record the section of the speech where he says that because he's going to say it after every speech that donald trump gives he bashes clinton which is hardly surprising um and then he goes on to defend Trump's use of teleprompters, despite the fact that both Donald Trump and Corey Lewandowski in the past have attacked and criticized politicians for using teleprompters. Corey Lewandowski, as his job requires, the job he had before and the job he has presently, is not a human being. He's not a person with a brain and a heart combining intellect and emotion in a historical context and providing you with information. That is almost the only thing that a commentator on these channels is supposed to do. And he's not doing that. He is running an algorithm where you put in variables and then he spits out something good about Donald Trump. You don't need to pay a human. You can literally code a, a, a chat bot to do that in a couple of hours, I bet. What is wrong with our fucking media that they both have enough money that they can afford to throw it at Corey Lewandowski and that they would choose to throw it at Corey Lewandowski? Do they not see the earth moving under their feet? That people aren't interested in this bullshit. They don't want to sign on for the paid actors to read their scripts or for the campaign flunkies to now move over and to be paid by the outlet that is supposed to be critical about everything that these people are saying and instead now is providing a paid outlet for them to say it while now being able to hide behind the fact that he doesn't technically work for the Donald Trump campaign anymore. It's the perfect situation for Donald Trump and Corey Lewandowski. How the hell can this be allowed in America? And yet, this is the new norm. 
and Corey Lewandowski is not the last person that this is going to happen to, that is going to have this opportunity. This opportunity is going to be available until people say with their eyeballs and with their wallet balls that they're not tuning in to CNN anymore or to any of the other stations that are up to these same old ridiculous games anymore. When they put... Who the fuck was he talking to? I almost don't care. Pamela Brown, guest host. When Pamela Brown says hi to the camera and nobody's watching, that is when change can begin. Okay, and it's going to be a long, painful process for CNN and those other mainstream media outlets once they realize what has changed in the intervening years. I don't know that they can survive it, but it ain't going to happen until that time. And until that time, CNN is going to be the Corey Lewandowski network, and so I have little interest in it.